Remember, my dear Obi-Wan. I've loved you always. I always will. Chancellor Palpatine, members of the Galactic Senate, Jedi Council, clones, random aliens. We are here to pay our last respects to a great leader of pacifists and aggressors alike. The Duchess of Mandalore, the late Satine. And here to lead us off with a few words about Satine, Jimmy Mack. Thank you, Jason. <clears throat> I am reminded of a young woman, a young woman who believed in a lifestyle of pacifism, pacifism, of pacifist. She was a pacifist. Yet she could handle herself in a fight. A woman who believed in living in cube-shaped structures amongst a population of bald men, all wearing the same colored jumpsuits. A woman who believed in drinking non-poisoned Snapple iced tea with her nephew, Corky. A woman who looked good wearing a wedding flower centerpiece arrangement as a hat. She found herself in a situation of political backstabbing and forbidden love. She died standing up for her ideals. Duchess Satine cries will be missed. I now turn the podium over to Clone Wars actress Anna Graves. Anna. Thank you, Jimmy Mack, for that heartfelt and beautiful tribute. I feel that a lot should be said here today. I would like to thank Corky and Bo for being the only family that eventually stood by the Duchess Satine. I'd like to thank the people of Mandalore for almost going along with her pathacitivism. <laughs> I would not like to thank Yoda for telling Obi-Wan and the Jedi that help they could not I would like to extend my gratitude to Obi-Wan Kenobi, finally. I think he tried. God love him. He tried. Just not hard enough. <laughs> you will be missed, Duchess Satine. Peace and love. That must have been difficult for you, Anna. It was. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Clone Wars actress Anna Graves. Hello. Yes. Hello.